it's Ash from Super Videos back for another video. Before we start, sorry if I sound like I'm talking out of a cup. I have a cold, so you're gonna have to bear with me for a couple videos until my voice is back. So, in this video, we're gonna be talking about who did Rosita see at the end of 714? Was it Daryl or was it Dwight? So, obviously, in the episode, Rosita saw this shadow person, this person in silhouette. And we didn't actually get to see who it was, but they did have a crossbow. Now, who has a crossbow? Both Dwight and Daryl. So who was it? Now, before I actually give my opinions, I think it's a very clever thing that they did. Given that both of these characters have crossbows, it was very creative for them to have this set up as a cliffhanger. I actually really enjoyed this cliffhanger. So if we just take a look at the photo itself or the clip itself, we can actually see that it looks like Daryl. But that being said, I don't think it's Daryl. I think it's Dwight. Now I have my reasons. And this argument is basically coming from the fact that I don't think it's Daryl. It can't be Daryl. So let's look at it from that perspective. Why can't it be Daryl? One, because Daryl was back at the hilltop the last time we saw him. And I don't think he was going to be able to get to the sanctuary that quick, given that he is a wanted man. He's not supposed to be at the hilltop. He's not supposed to be anywhere. They're looking for him. The saviors are going to capture him or kill him even if they see him. So Daryl has got to be very careful where he goes and what he does. So that means that it's going to take Daryl longer to get to the sanctuary because he's got to be very careful about where he is going. And this connects to the next thing I'm going to say. And that is that He's a wanted man. Why would he go to the sanctuary? That's the most dangerous place. All of the saviors are there. And if any one of them spots him, it's game over for him. So I don't think Daryl would risk it. Even though he is very close to both Sasha and Rosita, I don't think he's going to risk it like that and go back to the sanctuary. The next reason is that if you take a look at the promo for the next week's episode, you see that he is with the survivors. So if this is in fact Daryl, he is going to stay with Rosita and try to help Sasha escape. He's not going to go back. Given that he is with Rick and the other survivors in next week's episode, that gives us an idea that Daryl is probably still at the hilltop. Now there are also reasons why I definitely think this is Dwight. So there's some minor comic spoilers here. So in the comic book, there is a point in the story where Dwight turns around and acts like a double agent. So he betrays Negan and works with Rick to overthrow him. Now, in the TV show, they haven't really done that yet. And it seems like this is their opportunity to have that happen. To have Dwight talk to Rosita, who he has just seen. And maybe there could be some tension there, but at the end of the day, Dwight can tell Rosita that, I know you guys hate me, but... I can help you overthrow Negan. And that would basically be a remixed version of having Dwight come to Rick and tell him that he wants to help him overthrow Negan. Now, I'm not ruling out the idea that it could be Daryl. It could definitely be Daryl, but there's more hints and setup for it to be Dwight, in my opinion. But I want to know your opinions about this. Who do you think this is? Is it Dwight or is it Daryl? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back for another video.